Well guys, I think Mark's movers might be on its last leg. Might be on its last leg. Do you know what that means? If something is on its last leg, that means it's almost dead. Are you on your last leg? I hope you're not on your last leg. But I think my van, I think it's on its last leg. That means uh, it's gonna die soon. If not today. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. You know, when I drive, it just it makes this clunking noise from the front. I think it's the front left wheel. It's just like that, uh, that like that rattling noise, right? Hey guys, someone littered when you throw out your garbage. It's called littering if, if it's just in public like this. If you throw it out in your garbage can or in your recycling bin, then it's not littering. But if you just toss it around here, it's called littering. It's, a, it's not a good thing. So guys, that, that noise that you heard from the front tire, that can be called like a clunking noise or a like a rattling noise. I don't know what it is, what's causing that. Another issue is that it doesn't want to go. When I put it into gear, it's supposed to, it's, it's supposed to like, you know, kick into gear, right? We use that, that, that phrase, kick into gear. It means it, it's supposed to go, but it doesn't go. It just revs. I, I put it into gear and then I step on the gas and it just revs and then suddenly it jolts into gear. That's called, you can describe that as like jolt. It jolts, like a sudden movement, right? So suddenly it kicks into gear. I don't know what's going on with that van, guys. I think it's on its last leg. It's on its last leg, so it's just about gonna die. You know, a van like that, an old beater, you can call a, an old vehicle that's just a piece of garbage. You can call it a beater or a clunker. All right, so it's an old beater. It's a clunker. All right, it's uh, or you can say it's a lemon. I bought a lemon. Right, I've only had it for a few months, and uh, so it's already dead. So that means I bought a lemon. A lemon. <laughs> I don't know why we call it a lemon. Lemon is a nice fruit, right? You make lemon juice, lemonade or lemon juice or whatever. But uh, if a vehicle doesn't work or it's, it stops working right after you buy it, you can say, I bought a lemon. I bought a lemon, guys. <laughs> I wasted all my money, bought a lemon. So it's pretty much dead. So bid farewell to Mark's Movers, guys. It's on its last leg. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any more driving. It's a it's a death trap. Right? That's another way you can describe a vehicle. Um, if it's if it doesn't feel safe, which my van doesn't, you can describe it as a death trap. It's like it's you're going to die. If you keep driving it, you're going to die. So my van is a death trap. I, I better not keep driving it otherwise. I might die. And the the thing the the scary thing is that you know when you're like let's say you're you're you come to a red light or a stop sign or something and let's say it's kind of on an incline, right? You're driving up a, a slight hill and you have to stop. Well, if it doesn't kick into gear, that means you start rolling back and you might roll back into the vehicle behind you. I mean, so far the brakes work okay so you can just put on the brakes but if you're not going forward you just it's it's just kind of scary <laughs> it's kind of scary to drive that so so guys I don't think I'm gonna drive my death trap anymore my clunker so I just thought I'd teach you a couple words about about an old, old vehicles right a lemon you know beater uh, you know makes that clunking noise or that that rattling noise um, and also when you rev the engine, that means you you step on the gas, right? To step on the gas pedal means to step on the accelerator. That pedal 
is called the accelerator, but most people call it the gas pedal, right? So, you know, if you hear someone say, I've got a heavy foot, they're talking about, the, they're, they're meaning their foot is always on the gas pedal too much. So they're, and they, they're driving too fast, right? So if, they, if someone says, I've got a heavy foot, that means they drive too fast. <laughs> so they're blaming it on the weight of their foot, right? The, their foot is too heavy, so it's pushing the gas pedal down. Just a funny way to describe it, right? So anyway, guys, that's my car problems. I don't really know that much about cars, to be honest. So otherwise I'd teach you more vocabulary, but I just thought I'd teach you kind of those specific problems and let you hear what how I would describe that. And I would describe that sounded like a clunking sound. Um, so that's why that's why an old vehicle like that can be called a clunker because it just it it just makes all those noises. There's so many noises like clunk cling clang clanging around clunking, right? So yeah, guys. Well, it's the end of Mark's movers. So thank you for sticking with me as always and uh, let me know what kind of car I should buy next that's my only vehicle um, I sold my trusty red SUV a few months ago so now that's my only vehicle and now it's dead so I'm gonna be without a vehicle so let me know what kind of vehicle you would recommend nothing too expensive I'm not made of money here I'm not uh, you know, I don't have a gold tree to, let's see if this tree's a, you know, we have it, the, the idiom, money doesn't grow on trees, right? Oh, guys, look at that spider. So money doesn't grow on trees, but apparently spiders do grow on trees. Wouldn't that be sweet if money grew on trees? You could just pick some money and go buy a nice car for yourself. So guys, that's it for today. You can see a little sliver of the moon there. The sun has already set here in Calgary, Alberta. It's about maybe nine o'clock, August 30th. It's the last day of August. So, and uh, remember not to litter. Keep, keep, keep your neighborhood nice and clean, you know. I am reversing the litter. I'm gonna go recycle this. Actually, I get if I take this to the recycling depot, I'll get 10 cents, I think. Yeah, I think these bottles are 10 cents. So guys, someone else did a crime. They committed a crime by littering. I'm gonna turn that crime into a dime. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I'm gonna turn their crime into a dime. That's what I get for this. A 10 cent coin in Canada, you know, the really tiny coins in Canada. Those 10 cent coins are called dimes. So I'm gonna make a dime from a crime. Let me know, have you ever made a dime from a crime? Well guys, as always, I love you so much. Thank you for sticking with me through thick and thin, no matter what kind of car I drive. But let me know your, your recommendations down in the comments, what kind of car you would buy if you were in my situation. All right guys. Well, I'll sign off from here in beautiful Calgary, Alberta. Take care, stay safe. I love you as always, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.